Hey, one more time around, call it good? Yeah! No, I'm just kidding. I got some rules and regulations first. I'm to show you how to use one of these very stylish things. We're not all done. There are two clips here in front. You'll unclip them both. You'll put it on like a jacket. Clip them back where you found them and you're set for a stylish float down the Wisconsin River. Now, no one's had to use these in our 76 years of operating and I don't plan on being the first. Do any of you? Nope. Good if you did, I'd tell you get off my duck. <laughs> but just in case there are 23 adult life jackets above you all, six child right here above me. Now, can anybody point out the emergency exits? <laughs> yep, I agree. <laughs> but it's out the windows, out the front, yeah. out the back, in extreme case. Pull those yellow straps and go through the top. Mm. Now, I do ask you to keep all hands, arms, and legs inside those green beams. Looking close to rocks and trees on the land portion of today's tour. I don't want anybody getting hurt. As well as I do ask that you're. Uh, that's already here we go. Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Anthony Stuff. Hey, what's up? My name is John. I'll be your pilot. Hey, maybe even a little bit in the air. Now, today's tour does consist of three parts. One part Native American folk legend, one part Wisconsin house history, and one part what we like to call here on the road. That's right, some very Native American. I'll let you decide this one half, which is good. Side of the duck. No, it's not the other duck. Do you see it out there, though? Do you want me to point it out for you all? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, it's right over there. It is by that tree. It looks like it's a baby. It's a baby stop sign. <laughs> Cute little guy down there, isn't he? <laughs> Stop 
stop sign and scroll up fast. Now, do take notice both the warning and danger sign on either side of the duck today. That's because we're entering the most dangerous part on today's tour. He has turns. Now, due to traffic laws put in place in 2019 by the DOT, I'm legally obliged to stop here now. Ask you all back there to reach underneath your seats. On Velcro, the two big red safety seat belts and clip them across your waist. Should be right down in the back middle. Cliffs on either side of the dock today. These cliffs do suck at moisture and create a 100% heat filter in the air conditioner. Now it can be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees cooler than the rest of the house. So I guess that makes you all back there. The coolest people in the house. And it makes me the coolest up driver. I gotta stop and look for traffic <laughs> and present to you all the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I know, a lot smaller in person, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> now all jokes decided to make it a little bumpy as we enter the water today. So with that left hand of yours, I do ask that you brace the seat in front of you. And with your right hand, well, it's probably best if you plug your nose. <laughs> Now, I did just disengage the wheels, so if you look off either side, then you'll see them they slowly sink to the bottom. Nobody. Oh, 
Alrighty, here we go. And that's about it. <laughs>
on the ask stop drivers now. As you want it. It's imported and as you want to see up here in front of us on the left hand side. Well, it's Russian. Waters Del Creek to form artificial lake belt up there. After that breach that happened in 2008, they added an 80 foot spillway off the right hand side. Now, I guess really all I'm trying to say, now's the best time to take all the damn pictures you want. Now, what if we have artificial lake delta? How did you all want to go in today? Fast or slow? Fast. Fast? Fast. fast. Alrighty, well, I will tell you all, there might be a slight mist that comes up and over the front of the duck, hitting me and the first couple of rows of the wet. That's actually nothing compared to the 80 foot tidal wave that's coming over the back. So if you have any personal belongings on the floor you don't want getting wet, I recommend you pick them up now. Anything that floats forward, I get to sell on eBay. Except for those small children, you guys can have them back. I do ask that you hold on and make it look bumpy. Well, we all sat back there. Alrighty, here we go. about the tidal wave back there, did you? Yes. Don't need to worry if you take a little wet today. This is artificial lake boat, which means it's fake water, which means you're not actually that wet. Folks, if you can recall that breach I was talking about earlier, this right-hand shoreline, please. <laughs> if you can imagine four lakefront properties sitting along that shore, all quickly swept down the Wisconsin River. 
That's where we entered the water today, at Echo Point. Echo Point. Echo Point. Now it does get its name for reason number two. That's because we're sitting atop Suicide Hill. 50 foot drop off on the other side of the turn down there, so it may just be the last good look of anything that we get. But if you're scared like I am, cover your eyes. <laughs> Not at all mention it, only my There is that 50 foot drop off over there on the right. I wasn't kidding. But there's no need to worry. They sent me out here to personally install that steel mesh barricade that's also there on the right. Some chicken wire. But I know what you're all thinking. John, no chicken wire. Well, yeah, making the hardware store reassured us. If they can hold back the chicken, they can hold back it up. Now here on the left is the beautiful Lake of the Dell. Found it for one sole purpose. The breeding Wisconsin summer bird. The mosquito. Us folks, like all things in life, they do get gray and old and, well, pretty much worthless. So we still have that box there on the left. And at the end of our season, we do ship them off to Minnesota. Kind of like what we did with Brett Favre or Inches of Wiggle Room. But if you think that's dangerous, folks, wait till I take you all across the bridge up there. 